What's wrong, Adam? Aren't you feeling well? No, I'm all right. You've got to get on the outside of a good breakfast, mate. Sets you up for the day, that. Me? It's right, isn't it, Dad? Mm. I'm not hungry. Well, you'd better get your things ready for school, then. You don't like that school, you know. You'll get used to it. What, Weatherfield Comp? It's not what he's used to. I don't think I know that. Hey, it's not even a go at me, because Deirdre's consorting with the enemy. Right, I'm going. She's not, you know, Ken. Uh, consorting with the enemy. I'm sure she doesn't see it that way. No, I'm sure she doesn't. She thinks Adam should be with Baldwin, and that makes me the enemy. Oh, don't talk rubbish. The only reason she left was she thought you weren't listening to her. Whereas I imagine Baldwin was being more than attentive when they were together in Dev's flat. You're never suggesting. She thinks more of him than she does of me. Certainly as guardian of my own grandson. Doesn't Deirdre have a point, though? Mike's his father. And a child's rightful place is with his parent, not grandparent. We're talking about Deirdre, not Adam. Ken, I know what it's like when you lose someone. You can lose all sense of where you are in the world. Lose perspective. You think that's what's happened to me? I've lost perspective. It's grief, Ken. It's not to be ashamed of. But don't let it destroy you and Deirdre. This is my son, Peter. Adam's uncle. Hello. Nice to meet you. Please, take a seat. Thank you. Now, the purpose of this meeting is to take you through Monday's hearing and establish exactly what we will be putting forward as our case. Um, will Adam be present? Any... I don't like the idea of him witnessing Baldwin and myself arguing about his future. And don't worry, Adam's best interests are the court's highest priority. But he won't be there to see any proceedings. Oh, thank goodness for that. Such cases can often get quite ugly. Yeah. You haven't met Baldwin yet. Oh, might need to cut up rough, is it? Well, we go back a long way. There's little love lost, I'm afraid. May I ask why? Well, let's just say he's got plenty of skeletons in his closet. Well... Maybe it's time a few of them started rattling, then. If they're relevant to his suitability as a father, then yes, they should. By the way, your partner, Mrs Rashid, is she not here today? No, she had to work. But she will be at the hearing. If we are to paint Mr Baldwin as a potentially unsuitable father, then we must ensure the judge can see a viable alternative family. Old-fashioned it may be, but stable mother and father figures are highly prized. Yes, yeah, she'll be there. 